today I'm going to review the uh, Easy Scratch tool. Um, it's made for uh, natural protective styles. Also, if you have frontals, wigs, uh, things of that such. Um, it comes in this neat little package here with the instructions on the back or on the side of it. Um, slowly slide the Easy Scratch tool underneath your hairstyle. Um, it also, um, you would have to gently rub desired area with back and forth motion. Um, so it also tells you that um, your hair remains neatly styled and intact if you use it. Um, it creates frizz free scratch with natural styles. Uh, it also disengage install braids quickly and pain free. Uh, quickly scratches underneath closures, frontals, nets, and wigs. Um, it also shows you on the back, has a cute little picture. Um, so I'll be reviewing it, um, doing a takedown of braids and see how quickly and easily, uh, pain-free on my fingers, also on the mannequin. Um, so here, just open up the package here. Comes in a little plastic bag, Ziploc. It's cute, very small, handy. You can actually put it in the palm of your hand. Uh, the end of it, very round and smooth, so it doesn't poke you. Thicker than um, rat tail combs, I would say. Um, so let me just compare it. Here's the easy scratch, here's the rat tail comb. You can see that it has more thickness and it has a rounder tip. Rat tail metal combs, plastic combs have a um, somewhat of a sharper tip. Um, so that's what I'll be comparing it to today and see how well and fast um, it goes. Okay, so I've already taken down two. Um, this is just a regular protective style here. Box braids in the back, individuals, and cornrows, ponytails up front. So we'll see how well it takes down, if it feels good on my fingers. This is how I take down. I start at the very end. And these are individual box braids with extensions. Let's see how well takes down. Underneath my braid, if I want to keep my protective style in without 
messing my um, braids up, it slides under very easily, I would say, you know. If you're itching, you know, you can get up in there. If you have a wig or frontal, um, I don't know, I guess you can just go up under the wig and scratch it without using your nails or um, a sharp rat tail comb, you know. Um, I would say this is safer to use, especially on children, if you're taking down their hair so you don't puncture their scalp. Um, the round smooth tip makes it safe to take down cornrows. Um, let's see, for instance, let's take down this cornrow here. especially with children. The type of style of being in for a couple weeks. There's some shedding, some dead hair, so you don't want to pull. Um, so yeah, it seems like it took it down very easily, very fast. And um, I'm gonna continue to use it for takedown. Um, I have braids, so. I've used it to try on, let's say, for instance, if I don't want to scratch on my scalp or anything, um, I can just take the tool and um, just go right in there and scratch it. You know, we all don't have rat tail combs with us wherever we go, but it doesn't hurt. Very gentle. Um, doesn't mess it up. Keeps all my braids, twists intact. These are crochet um, twists. So, you know, go right up under there. Wherever that little itch is. So I can say this is a great tool. Very compact, very easy to use. Um, very um, gentle on your fingers. Uh, doesn't hurt. Um, the round tip doesn't hurt um, when it's going against my scalp. So um, I recommend it for anybody to use it, you know. Um, like I said, it's great on children as well for takedown services um, or just taking down your child's hair at home. Um, this tool is very useful uh, versus the rat tail comb where it may hurt your little one or, you know, may take a lot longer with the rat tail comb versus the easy scratch and um, I've used it so it's a helpful tool at home I'm just gonna test it out and see how helpful it is um, out and about you know comment um, share also subscribe uh, turn on the bell as well so that you'll get notifications from me um, I have more videos coming out um, more product tool reviews as well that parents can use um, so just let me know comment below I also have the link of where the tool where you can purchase a tool um, I'll have that link in the uh, description bar okay all right thank you guys for watching you take care